Welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial I will be going through 10 questions one by one about SAP BW for HANA. It is an online MCQ test set number 7. You can also access the same test without any cost from our website called saplearningacademy.com and here you need to visit to this online test section and once you click it you will find there are number of sets available starting from 1 to 7 and more to be added soon. So in this tutorial I will be discussing about the set number 7. So the first question maximum number of fields combining key and data fields can an ADSO contain? It is about ADSO. Notice that the right answer is 745. If it was DSO when then it would be 248 but in the case of ADSO it has increased to 745 next question the number of maximum number of key fields can an ADSO contain the correct answer is 120 ADSO can contain 120 key fields but whereas in the case of DSO in the previous BW version it was only 16. Next, ADSO supports both info object and field based modeling. The correct answer is true. ADSO can support only info object, only field based, or both combining info object and field based modeling. The next question and it is a very important question if you are a BW consultant or if you are preparing for any interview. The question is maximum number of rows can an ADSO can contain and the same question applies like maximum number of rows can a partition of an ADSO contain. The correct answer is 2 to the power 31 it equals to 2 billion rows. So the ADSO can contain a maximum of 2 billion rows or a partition of ADSO contain 2 billion rows. So the correct answer is option B. Next question, ADSO does not support non-cumulative key figure in the modeling. So that is false. ADSO is the primary modeling uh, target or kind of a source for any kinds of modeling so the non-cumulative key figure is also added into the ADSO. Next how many partitions are allowed for one table in SPS 10? The correct answer is 16,000. A table meaning that an ADSO in SAP HANA SPS 10 can contain 16,000 partition. Next, is it possible to assign a table to both row and column table? The straightaway the answer is no. It is not possible to assign a same table uh, to row and column. Either you can change to row or column but not at the same time. You cannot keep it uh, both uh, table types. Next question is very also important for any kinds of interview that maximum size of LOB in SAP HANA. LOB is, is a data type uh, which stores large text or image files. So the maximum size for LOB in SAP HANA is 2 GB. Next, it also comes from LOB. What are LOB types present in SAP HANA? So these are the different LOB types. So we need to identify that whether all are available in SAP HANA or some of those. The correct answer is all of the above. Memory LOB, picked LOB, file LOB. Memory LOB for short text, picked LOB for medium and file LOB for large text or images. So the correct answer is all of the above. And the last question of this tutorial is composite provider 
cannot be created on top of semantic group in SAP BWA FANA. True or false? The correct answer is false. Composite provider can be created on top of semantic group for further uh, further reporting because semantic group is a combination or it is a structure of different uh, different ADSO and you can create composite provider on on top of semantic group for further modeling in the reporting so and also you can submit the all the answers just click on submit and you can see your score in my case all are true so it is 10 out of 10 you can always check your score how much you are getting and while you are doing the test here and uh, you can also see the answers and which is correct and which is incorrect so thank you for watching this tutorial and you can also access the other other sets from this uh, website which can give you a lot of information about uh, SAP BW for HANA and please like the tutorial if you have liked it and please comment below if you want to know more about the test or any module in SAP and also look into the other tutorials I've given the links in the below description thank you for watching